Hi everyone, I'm Sam Argiri, News 12 Long Island's evening meteorologist. Last time during my weather lessons, we spoke about weather fronts. And now that we are in the season of spring, fronts can typically bring us thunderstorms, especially a cold front. And we've been starting to see more and more of this across Long Island. So today I thought it would be fun to talk about thunderstorms. We'll start off with what is a thunderstorm? A thunderstorm is a storm that brings thunder and lightning, and it's produced by a cumulonimbus cloud. So here's that cumulonimbus cloud. They're the big, white, puffy, vertical clouds that can rise high up into the sky, and they bring us that thunder and lightning. So here's some lightning, and there's the rain. Thunderstorms also bring gusty winds, and they could bring us some hail along with that heavy rainfall. So in order for a thunderstorm to develop, we need a few things. First off, we need moisture, and that moisture creates the clouds and rain. We need unstable air, or air that can rise rapidly high up into the sky. As you can see here, our storms can rise to almost 40,000 feet, which is about six to eight miles high up into the sky, which is crazy. And we also need something to lift that air, and that could be caused by fronts, especially a cold front. That can be caused by a sea breeze, cool air coming in off the water, bumps into warm, humid air, causing it to rise. Um, mountains can cause air to rise. If air hits a mountain, it gets shot up into the air. And then also the sun's heat, just the sun heating up the ground can cause air to rise. All right, with thunderstorms, we get lightning, and lightning is a bright flash of electricity. So high up in the sky, we have little bits of ice and they tend to bump around and that creates an electric charge. So that electric charge up in the cloud then meets up an electric charge on the ground and you get that flash of light, which is a lightning strike. So thunder is caused by lightning and we get that thunder sound from lightning. So lightning shoots towards the ground really fast and it heats up the air so hot that it can be hotter than the surface of the sun. So when air gets that hot that fast, boom, it explodes and that's why we hear that thunder sound. Now we typically see lightning before we hear thunder because light travels faster than sound. Now, sometimes with thunderstorms, we also get hail. And typically, if we get a storm on Long Island, the hail that we see is small. It can be pea size or about a quarter size, which is an inch in diameter or less. Um, I've never seen hail like this around our neck of the woods, and that's crazy. That's a baseball size hail. And that can happen in the Midwest when you get those big supercell thunderstorms that also bring tornadoes. So how does hail form? Well, small water droplets blow around inside a storm. And when they get lifted high up into the sky where it's colder, they turn into ice. So the little hailstone keeps getting thrown around in the cloud. It rises, it sinks, it goes up and down and it grows and grows until it gets too big and too heavy. And then it comes falling down to the ground. And sometimes if you get a big hailstone, especially like that, they can travel as fast as 90 miles per hour. So Hailstones are dangerous, they can certainly cause damage, and they can be deadly. So if you ever know a thunderstorm is coming your way, that's why it's important to be safe and stay inside. With thunderstorms, we also get gust fronts. And this is what it would look like if a gust front is approaching you with a storm. We get these low clouds. See how it looks like a wall or a shelf here? This was taken down at the beach. And a gust front is a leading edge of cool air that is rushing down and out from a thunderstorm. So it pushes out pretty fast and our gust fronts can um, have winds with them that are pretty strong. So it's usually marked by cool gusty winds. So if you're outside and the storm is coming, sometimes you might notice those cool gusty winds reaching you. And once the winds pass by, then it will start to rain. So what makes a thunderstorm severe? Well, if a storm is severe, it will have hail the size of a quarter, which is an inch in diameter or larger, because that definitely brings some damage. We need winds of at least 58 miles per hour, which would bring some tree limbs down, some power outages, and maybe even some more damage. And if a tornado forms along with a thunderstorm, then it becomes severe. So I wanna show you this video. This is an example of, let's see if I can get it to play. There we go, a severe thunderstorm um, in the Midwest with some pretty big hail. And just to show you, I think this is cool, you can see with the pool how fast that hail is coming down. It's causing all that splashing. And there's so much hail that it's piled up on the side here. It almost looks like a pile of snow. So that would definitely be a severe thunderstorm. And if a severe thunderstorm warning goes off in your neighborhood, you definitely want to get inside. Look at this. 
It almost looks like it's snowing. So it's definitely some crazy stuff right there. So severe thunderstorms can also bring tornadoes. So next time around, we'll talk about tornadoes and learn a little bit about it. And I hope to see you guys then.